what's goody everyone how's everyone doing welcome back to my channel welcome back to yet another reaction video if you're new my name is tr mark and thank you so much for clicking on this video make sure before you leave you hit that subscribe button sis make sure you click the notification bell and also make sure you thumbs up this video so therefore every time i put out a new video you'll be one of the first to know it okay y'all we here we go we yeah, I thought I was going to take a break today, but I see a break is not in the horizon, y'all. It, it's always something on YouTube. And we back with Keisha again, y'all. Keisha Anderson, Jeremy Postel, and the new baby mama known now as Lee Lee. And some way, somehow, Keisha has figured out a way to insert her best friend, Brittany. I don't know if you guys know Britney from Marshall Party of Five. Well, somehow Keisha has figured out a way to insert this lady into her drama with Jeremy and the new baby mama, Lily. All right. So, of course, you guys, I watched Britney's video um, basically telling her best friend's side of the story. And, you know, I had some thoughts about that. Now, I'm going to say this. I like Britney. I, I like her channel. I, I love her family. I think she has a very pretty, cute family. Um, and Brittany is is young. What I think she said she's 26, maybe. But I, you know what? I was a little disappointed in Brittany because I understand Brittany wanting to stick up for her friend, right? But what Brittany has to understand is this is not her fight. Yeah, this is not her story. This is not her fight. This was her, her position was to do what she's been doing. It's just to be a lending ear. Now, I understand why Brittany did what she did because Keisha Anderson has almost because Keisha Anderson has 500,000 plus subscribers to put Keisha Anderson's name in her title will bring what a lot of views to her channel. But Brittany the context of how she tried to tell Keisha's story was all the way wrong because in in that position you know it's obviously you know she's more partial to Keisha because Keisha is her best friend but it, I took Brent I took Brittany's conversation more so talking to the haters right in this situation to me no one is hating on Keisha what Keisha has to understand is she is the one that called herself jumping ahead of the story and coming out with a book or a pamphlet or whatever you want to call it, talking about what she's experienced or what she has experienced with this whole situation of Jeremy having another child on her. But what I think Keisha doesn't understand is, yes, Jeremy had another child on you. And yes, you most definitely were upset. You were um offended hurt whatever okay but it is a story that you chose to keep living in the middle of and when you decided to come on your platform to share that story with the world expect people to have thoughts and opinions and also expect that everyone is not going to be on your side now, Brittany wanted to tell the story. She said she is the one who first spotted Jeremy cheating with Lily. She, Brittany said that she was having a bridal shower in the house that they rented where the bridal shower is going to be at is where she first witnessed Jeremy with Lily in the car. She said she let Keisha know that she saw Jeremy, but she didn't say she saw him with a woman in a car initially. I guess Keisha went and called Jeremy. And Jeremy's like, yeah, I just seen your friend. Your friend, you know, said, you know, I guess your friend told me you saw me. But Keisha didn't say at, the, at that time that she saw him with another woman because Brittany didn't tell her that. And once Keisha went back to Brittany, was like, yeah, I called Jeremy. And Brittany was like, well, did he tell you he was in a car with another woman? And you guys, I guess that's where this whole situation started. Now, 
I'll say this. In that video that Britney did, she basically wanted to people to feel like Lily is in the wrong. She felt like, to me, my perception of her conversation, she felt Lily should have had loyalty. The girl code, and yes, there definitely is a girl code, but what about the bro code? What about the code that Jeremy and Keisha had once Jeremy decided to make Keisha his woman? What about the code that he was supposed to have? Because you got to remember when Lily met Jeremy, more than likely she did not know that he had a woman. And when he approached her, even if Lily approached him, at that very moment, Jeremy should have said either way, I got a woman and left it up to Lily's determination if she should proceed with this relationship or not yet he didn't do that now jeremy let keisha know that when he lily was a one night stand and that's how she got pregnant but y'all clearly if you go by the timeline he started messing with that girl or he was spotted messing with that girl when, she, when keisha was pregnant with the twins okay and since then keisha has also had another baby this year in 2020 and Lily also had a baby March 8th of 2020 herself. So the whole, she was a one night stand thing, unless that night la lasted for two years, how could she clearly be a one night stand when you started messing around with her in 2018? We just gonna say 2018 and the baby was born in 2020. Keisha knows that. Like Keisha, you know these facts, but my thing is, Keisha didn't want to be by herself. She doesn't want to raise her children by herself because it messes with her image. That's my thought, my opinion. But what also messes with your image, Keisha, is the fact that this man blatantly plays on you in public knowing you are a public social media influencer and he continuously tries to damage your brand and you're aware of it because jeremy comes up and sweet talks her in her ear keisha does what a lot of women do they turn a blind eye and really feel like this man loves her because he's telling her instead of really showing her now y'all look i'm not advocating for a woman who decides to mess around with a man especially once you are made aware that he is in a relationship. I'm not an advocate for that. But at the end of the day, I really feel like the onus should be more on Jeremy than Lily. Because Jeremy, you was the one that was in a relationship with Keisha. Lily wasn't. You invited Lily into your world. You made her a part of what you was going through. And you was carrying on with that woman and then running back to Keisha and carrying on a different lie. Now, I'm going to be honest. I, I think that was a bad look for Britney's channel. I, I, me personally, I don't think that was Britney's platform to announce Keisha's drama. And I really feel like, y'all, the reason why this is being spoke of now is because Lily took to her Instagram the other day and went live. And she basically said, oh, she's coming to YouTube because she really tried to play a low profile through all of this. But since nobody's gonna let her just be. And if everybody else making money off her situation, hell, why she shouldn't make money off of it too. And at the end of the day, I feel her. Cause Keisha's making a hell of money off of what her, Jeremy and Lily all have going on. Keisha's making a hell of a lot of money. So Lily, it's her story too. She has a part in that story. So why not tell it and make money off of it? I'm gonna let you guys see a little bit of what Lily had to say on her Instagram live. And I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Um, so honestly, if you have help or you're offered help, I know as scary as it seems and as scary as it feels, like, you know, you just don't trust nobody with your baby. Get all the help you can get. It's gonna pay off in the long run. You don't wanna burn yourself out. Um, August birthday is March 8th, 2020. Um, YouTube is definitely on the way. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on names or anything that has to do with YouTube, you know, that stuff is very new to me. I've never really been into it. My sisters are more so into it. Um, 
for me, I just feel like it would be a good way to kind of introduce you guys into my life being that, you know, I wanted to kind of stay low key and out the way, but you know, obviously that's not <laughs> what God had in plan, had planned for me. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to t make the most of it as I can while I can. Co-parenting is definitely hard, especially um, being that there are other children and um, another mother involved. Um, it's hard, but it's not impossible. I'll say that. Uh, my nationality, I'm a little bit of everything, but in my eyes, I consider myself a black woman, African-American. Uh, but I do, like my background, I do have a little bit of everything, literally. Um, if I wasn't a bottle girl, which is not something I plan on doing forever, y'all. <laughs> it's just after having a baby and not really getting help, um, you know, I, I just, I needed that fast comeback because at the end of the day, I gotta wake up every day and look at my baby and I gotta go get it, you know? And with Corona and everything else that was going on, I didn't have time to try to sit at a nine to five, you know, all power to y'all who can do the nine to five. Um, but for me, I needed the money ASAP, you know, ASAP. Gotta pay bills, gotta feed my baby, all that good stuff. Um, I am 26 years old and my future goals, I want to, you know, just get my hands on as much as I can. Um, a lot of people don't know, but I, can do nails, I do makeup, I do hair, um, I love fashion, you know, all that girly stuff, um, I love art, I love to create, um, I would love to get into, like, flipping houses and real estate, um, I want to have my own cosmetic line and my own, um, press-on nail line. Does August see his dad? Yes, he sees his dad. I'm gonna be honest, y'all, this is some real high school type-ish. And me, this is my thought. Keisha being a grown woman, regardless, you're 26, 36, 96. Since you a grown woman, and you letting your homegirl come up here and try to defend you against Lily was all the way wrong, sis, because can't nobody tell your story better than you. Brittany can't tell your story because even with you telling Brittany what's going on, Brittany is getting secondhand information because the only information is that the actual information is between you and Jeremy. Unless Brittany is standing in the home right when you and Jeremy are having these conversations, everything Keisha tells Brittany is always going to be in Keisha's defense. Right? Because when Keisha talks to Brittany, she's going to let Brittany know how she feels and what she feels is right and what she feels is wrong. And that's understandable because that's your homegirl. You want your homegirl to feel your pain. But since how much pain are you really going through when you willingly keep this relationship going on with this man? Now, I'm not saying that Keisha need to break up with Jeremy tomorrow. I mean, obviously, that's her business. If she wants to carry on with a man that don't think she ain't ish, that's her business. But when you do that, do understand on the people that's on the outside looking into your life that you decide to display. Understand that people going to be looking side eye at you, sis, because they not understanding. They're not understanding how you keep promoting this man. Like this man, he not only cheated on you, sis, he produced a whole baby with this woman. And you keep broadcasting this man on his on your channel like he ain't done nothing wrong to you. And maybe you have forgave and forgotten. Okay? But do understand that the people that watch your channel, they probably not going to be as forgiving because they, they're not the ones with babies with Jeremy. Yeah, they don't have to make their situation work. Like, you got to make it work because you want to keep your family together. The people that's watching your channel don't have to make the situation work. Because they're just observing. They really don't have anything invested in it. You know, you guys, if you look at this situation 
Keisha and Lily are basically going back and forth with each other. Not so much Lily, but Keisha keeps wanting to make herself look like an angel in everybody's eyes. And I don't understand why Keisha feel like she got to keep making herself look like an angel. When Keisha, you didn't do anything wrong. You just, since you effed up when you loved the wrong man. Since that's the only thing that you guilty of. But you didn't do anything wrong because you didn't cheat on your, yourself and produce a baby. You were with your man, and you thought he was with you, and then you found out later that he wasn't. But you keep coming on this camera trying to defend your name, sis. It's making you look real crazy. Because it's either one or two things. Sis, you either going to be with this man with his flaws, or you not going to be with this man. This, uh, that's the only two ways you can look at it. If you continue on a relationship with him, then you have to expect and deal with all the backlash that people are going to have about you dealing with a man who publicly embarrasses you. Not once, but twice that I know of. Yeah, you have to deal with that. And don't be dragging your friend, Brittany, in the middle of this. Because if you really wanted to do something with Brittany, you would do more collabs with Brittany. You would shout her channel out. Yeah, this your homegirl, but you don't do any of that. You, you don't shout her out. Yeah, you featured her in your birthday video. But that's pretty much it. She was in your documentary. But that was pretty much it. Like, if you're really trying to put your bestie on, because... Based off what I saw in Britney's video, she team Keisha. Since who are you team? Because to me personally, it seems like Keisha is team herself and nobody else. That's just me. You dragging your homegirl, knowing Britney and Britney should know better too. But I, again, I see Britney, obviously Britney looking at Keisha's channel and obviously Britney wants her channel at a large subscriber count so she can get that money to help her family, help herself. I, I see all that. But if Keisha really wanted you to glow up like her, so she would go about it a different way. There's many ways that Keisha can help you glow up without inserting you into her drama. Putting a negative tone on your channel and how your subscribers look at you. You know, you guys, Jeremy's behavior is typical narcissist behavior because in the event with all of this stuff that's going on between Keisha, Lily, Jeremy is basically sitting back observing. He's not really telling a story. He, when he does speak, he's speaking based off Keisha's persuasion for him to speak. It's not him really. And at this point, even if he does speak, people really not feeling what he has to say. It seems to understand is the children are the one who are being hurt by the situation because there's a little boy named August and there's three little girls who are siblings, but because their mothers don't see eye to eye, and I, actually right now it's going to be kind of hard because it's still very new. And their dad is keeping these two women a rift between these two women because he wants to keep, he wants to save face. These children potentially might not grow up being loving siblings to each other because of the actions of the parents. The kids are the ones who are affected by the situation all the time because I like I've said many times before the parents Keisha Jeremy Lily all these adults can go on and have relationships with other adults and be just fine but those kids can't move on where are they going their parents are the ones that are designing the situation for them and right now, with Keisha not letting this go, because my thing is this, if you're going to stay in a relationship with Jeremy, then sis, you got to let the fact that Lily is in existence, sis, you got to let it go. Because you're the one who decided to stay in that relationship with Jeremy, knowing what was produced out of that infidelity situation that he had with Lily. So with you staying in that relationship, sis, you got to let it go. Now, a lot of people say Lily looks better than Keisha. Y'all look, both of these ladies are beautiful to me. They are beautiful, okay? And obviously, both of these ladies have a lot to offer the world, okay? Talents, thoughts, opinions, whatever. But at this point, 
Keisha, you need to stop trying to compete with something that you can't compete with. Jeremy picked that girl for whatever the reasons, his reasons were. And he picked you for whatever those reasons are. But you got to stand in your own truth and stand in your own feet. And know that you are a bad bitch. Regardless of what anybody else think about you. And I think a lot of Keisha is feeling intimidated by Lily. That's what I really feel, you guys. She's feeling intimidated by this woman. And you know what? I understand because women can feel that way. I'm not saying that Keisha's feelings shouldn't be. I understand it. But sis, you got to figure out what you're willing to accept and what you're willing to deal with. And if the constant reminder of Jeremy's infidelity, you can't let it go, then sis, what are you doing over there? And bringing Brittany in the middle of this was very, very distasteful. Because Brittany doesn't have anything. Brittany got her own husband to worry about. She can't be worrying about you and Jeremy. Well, honey, she got to hold it down in her own home. Now, you guys, what I found very interesting was the comments in Brittany's video. I'm going to share you guys a couple of these comments. Like, there, there are over 800 comments. Of course, you guys, I didn't go through all of them. But I just wanted to share with you that, you know, there are women who watches these channels. Like, like we said, this is for entertainment. And obviously, what Keisha is going through, what Lily is going through, is not entertaining to a lot of people because they're dealing with it right but you have to understand again like I said earlier when you put this information out here for the world to see everybody's not gonna have the same energy that you're having because it's your situation you're dealing with it you're on the inside we are on the outside looking in so let me show you guys a little bit of these comments and I'm gonna come back with my commentary So as you can see, you guys, a lot of people are disappointed in Britney's decision. And obviously she's grown. Her decision to uphold her homegirl is clearly her business. But I think Britney needs to really go back and watch her video and see her mannerisms and really listen to what she said. Because since you're telling a story that you really didn't have a stance in. Like I understand Keisha being your homegirl and you want to hold your homegirl down. But Jeremy is the one that needs to be holding Keisha down, baby. Not you y'all let me know what y'all think down below please leave your comments and your thoughts about this whole situation and i definitely will see you guys in the next video make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel so therefore you can get more content like this all right you guys i'm out of here remember sub what you love bye bye